is a request by a subscriber shown here shout out to them this is the preset to try to replicate the fake camera movement preset found in premiere pro it's very basic i'm just gonna go over it real quick it's more or less like a version one i have plans to actually make this more advanced and more basically more customizable on the edit page in the future so subscribe for that and speaking of subscribers only about nine percent of you are actually subscribed to the channel if you got any value out of my videos or seen more than one of my videos go ahead hit the subscribe button appreciate it so hit the link in the description down below it'll take you to my new redesign website quick plug in and go over to products well actually the link will take you straight to the products and take them to my batman coffee page and click the little red button to download it's a drfx file you double click and then install once the effects are installed, you go over to the effects tab, click, go to your effects, and just type in mixed. You'll see the little icon here and get a little preview of the effect before applying, drag and drop. And it's a pan from left to right, and it's right to left, up, down, just all your basic camera motions. If you find that you have having choppy playback on the clip, simply right click, go to render fusion cache, and click on the effect. At that point, you should see a red line come up, which then it will turn blue once it's rendered. In the inspector tab, go to effects, and you have a number of different effects or controls you can change from the inspector tab. You want to change the speed of the camera effect. From the inspector tab, under effects, click here. There's an icon and it will take you into fusion. While in fusion, go to the spline tab, if you want to know more about the spline tab, I'll leave a link for my spline video at the end of the video yep. or in the description. But these are your keyframes, it's the basic motion. If you know anything about animation curves, you can change the animation curve if you like. But from here, we're going to hit zoom to fit. We're going to hit select all and you're going to click time stretch. It's going to bring up the two bars. You can see the zero here is the first frame. And right now the effect ends at 100. You can simply drag it in to say 15 if you want. Back in the edit page, it's had to re-render. Once it's re-rendered, you get a quicker effect. You can also change the motion blur straight from the inspector tab. Right now it's at halfway. You can crank it up to one. Let the clip re-render again. And play back with motion blur. If you're using one of the panning effects, it does require the clip to be zoomed in. You can see the subject is kind of cut off. Depending on the clip, if you want to get more of a visual of your subject, you can zoom out by default. If you zoom out too far, you'll get a transparent background. Go down to edge behaviors, and set it transparent. This clip here is ideal because it has the background shelf, or the bookshelf in the background. Click transparent, change it to reflect and it will reflect the bookshelf here. Like I say, this is something you can only apply to certain clips. So if you play it back, it allows the clip to be more zoomed out, give you more visual of the subject and also still maintain the camera movement. Like, but you also can't zoom out too far as you can see here. The subject is reflecting there because the way the reflection works, it reflects your clip pretty much endlessly. So if you zoom in just enough, you can see there's a double monitor split right there. But, oh, sorry, went too far. You can see the bookshelf there. If you go back, if you go further a little bit, or go zoom out a little bit further, you'll see the subject replicate. So you want to watch the borders. It gives you more visual of the subject without clip cutting his head like the original angle does. The original angle zooms in a little bit further. But you can change all the keyframes right here from the inspector tab or go into the go into fusion double click the group and you're going to affect the tab right here and pretty much make up your own you can pretty much make up your own keyframes or effects from here if you like that's been the video i appreciate you watching if you have any ideas or any requests for presets or any type of effects that you want me to go over in the venture resolve feel free to drop a comment down below i'll see you in the next video